Hey guys, tonight I'm going to review another cigar, the LC Habanos 2, or Habanos 2. Um, I don't know, is that, I can't, it doesn't have an umlaut on the box, or whatever that is on the box. Umlaut is German, I think. But, so it, it just might be LC Habanos. But it's the LC Habanos 2, which is El Lacaya. LC Lacaya. The Lacaya Habanos 2. Cigar and the most popular, I believe, is Churchill. I mean, they sell a lot of them in Churchill. I have a Robusto, which is a 50 by 5. So I like Robusto as the Churchill uh, would be like here. So, and it's a lot of cigar to smoke. Like I said in another video, that's a lot of cigar. So I have a Robusto, it's just the right size. Get it down, get it done, get her done, and you can relax. So, but, but I love these. These are really good. I've smoked several of them so far. Uh, again, the Lacaya Habanos 2 in robust, robust, robusto, robust. I'm going to say it the gringo way, robusto, uh, robusto 50 by 5. Now, as I said before about cutting the cigar, I'm going to show you that tonight. I know the lighting's not great, but I have a cold, so what does it matter? I can't even... Uh, anyway, so this is the cutter I use. It's a guillotine cutter. Um, you press the button, it opens up, and then you just... And it snips your cigar. I love this one. I've had a few different kinds that dulled out on me, and they squished the cigar and shit. This one actually cuts the cigar. Cuts it. I love it. It works. It's popular. It's great. I have to get... I have to get my lighter. So I'll be right back. Don't don't go nowhere, guys. Hold on. <coughs> where, oh, where can my lighter be? Here we go. All right. I'm back. I told you I'd be back. This is, this is actually my cigar lighter for right now. So a lot, a lot of times I'll use a match. I stopped using Zippos because they fuck up and you can't get them to work again. Now, when you're cutting it, like I said, there's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a small line going around the tip of the cigar. That's the cap where they put it on the end. Because it used to look like this on both ends. And they put this on and it closes it up. So there should be a little band there. I can see it. So when you actually cut the cigar, this is for you amateur cigar smokers. You're going to want to cut look over the top of my glass. Why do I wear glasses if I can't see? You're, you're going to take the cigar and you're going to cut just, just a teeny, teeny bit of cigar. You don't want to cut a whole lot of cigar off. Really, you don't want to cut hardly any. But so you just put it in there and snip and oh, yeah, it cut. Okay, there we go. Put it right there. We're going to put it in the trash later. So that's a cigar. So that's what it looks like when you cut it. So this is the side we're going to smoke. This is what I just cut. Okay. And, it, you know, it's, yeah, it's nice and tight. So we're going to put it in there. We're going to light this baby. And we're going to see what it does. So here we go. We're going to light the Lacaya Habanos 2 Robusto. Hope you guys love this video. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Did it lighten? Looks like it. I'm running out of flame. Sometimes you have to blow on it a little. Get it nice and red all the way around. Got a couple spots we have to hit, and I ran out of flame, I think. I might still be able to do it this way. Um, I know, great time. You know, that's the, 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 for those of you who are video bloggers on YouTube that might watch this, you kind of know what I'm talking about when I say, that's the nature of making a YouTube video, is that one video, you think this is going to be a pretty good video. Something happens like you run out of friggin' fuel in your lighter. So, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, 
I can taste the cream in this, a little bit of cream. I think I have a cold still. You know, I hate having a cold because my taste buds are all screwed up. But it, it, it tastes kind of like cream. There's a lot of black pepper in this. And I love the black pepper. The black pepper tastes marvelous. Now as it heats up, and I think I was able to get it all uh, evenly warmed because I lit enough of it. And that's the thing is you want it all the way around. You want it as as lit as possible, red all the way around, and of course it turns gray evenly and pulls back. Otherwise, you get one part of it that's not lit. So as it burns, you get a brown like cap, and you have to knock it off. And I think I, I think I escaped that. Uh, but like I said, the La Calle Habanos II Robusto is excellent taste, tasting cigar. And uh, yeah, you can taste the black pepper. Uh, taste a little bit of what well, might be cream in it. Yeah, I think there's some cream in there. And like I've said before in other videos, I do love the lighter wrapper. You probably can't see it in the dark. It probably looks a little darker. But this is a lighter wrapper. This is not a Cameroon or a Maduro, which I used to, used to smoke Maduros a lot. But the darker, oily wrappers, I just can't do anymore. I, if my stomach's messed up or what, I don't know. I Maybe mean, I'm getting older. You know, I just can't do it anymore. Um, well, I can definitely do this one. Yeah, this one definitely tastes really good. <clears throat> and if you noticed when I first started this video, I was coughing because I have a really bad cold. I'm not coughing now. So all of you guys that have a cough or you have a cold, this is your remedy, man. All them fucking cough syrups with alcohol and, and fucking all them ingredients and them, them, them chemicals that fuck up your immune system. All you need is a good Dominican cigar because that's what a La Calle Habanos is. A La Calle Habanos tu is a definite Dominican cigar uh, from the Dominican Republic. And I'll tell you what, being so close to Cuba, those guys make good cigars. So, hey, keep, uh, keep tuned in here. I'll keep reviewing cigars and other stuff. The Super Bowl's coming. I might do a little Super Bowl video. I don't know. I'm definitely going to keep doing videos. I love this stuff. This is my life. And we're coming up. Hey, this is my 10th year in October. My 10th year making YouTube videos. 10 years, man. Who knew?